What I have in my hand can make your videos go viral and get millions of views. Check this out. Okay, what is this and how can it get you millions of views on YouTube? Well, it's just a stupid remote that I'm going to use to play a video. Now that video was a viral video that I made like 11 years ago. And it got millions and millions of views. I don't even know how many views it got because it was, it was the original video is no longer on YouTube for some reason. I can't find it. Maybe it's up. I can't find it. The one you're looking at now is a follow-up video that I did. Now the original, the follow-up video got three point something million views, but the original video got, I don't know how many millions, I, I, much more than three million, I think. Uh, it was so long ago, I don't remember, but here's the thing. It was shown on Korean TV. Korea stole my video and used it on TV shows. And I even had American TV shows calling me up on the phone saying, hey, we want you to come on our show and you know, such a long story. So what's going on here and what is it? This is the kind of video that you can make and get millions of views. What is it? I made a video about an unknown weird creature that I found in the woods. It was a dead creature. And uh, I mean, like I say, that thing got millions of views. It was crazy. Now, what was it? All it was was a clay sculpture that I bought off of eBay. Some guy, you know, I think this was 11 years ago, was making these little clay creatures. And, you know, he was, they were like dead creatures and, you know, he was selling them as dead clay creature. I don't remember. Anyway, I bought the damn thing and I, I decided, okay, I'm going to use this as a prop and make a video about how I find this unknown creature in the woods, right? And I did it as a, an April Fool's joke. I uploaded that, I think, on April Fool's Day, like 11 freaking years ago, and it took off. It went ballistic. Like I say, Korean TV abducted it and used it. I had TV shows in America calling me up and saying, hey, come on our show and bring your creature. We will we'll pay you. We want to, you know. And I had to say, you guys realize this is a goof, right? It's an April Fool's video. What are you, idiots? And, you know, they, there would be this long silence on the other end of the phone. Idiots, imbeciles. But my point is, people, there's, people want this kind of content. People buy into this stuff like crazy. It has a huge following. You know, UFOs and unknown creatures and, and the unexplained. You know, how many TV shows have you seen like that? Millions of them. Billions of them. I mean, there's, if you want to make money, all you have to do is produce a ghost hunter type TV show. And what does that ghost hunter show do? I, really, there's nothing to it. Here's the formula. You, you get some gadgets, you know, ooh, I got a, a reader, a ghost reader. It finds ghosts. Ooh. And you go into an abandoned hospital, you know, something that's been closed for many years. And of course, you don't do it in the daytime. You do it at night and where it's all dark and you turn on your special lens, you know, and everything's green and you got infrared going. And then you do this act. What was that? What was that? Oh, did you hear that? Oh my God, look, that door moved. And it's so ridiculous. All it's doing is engaging the fight or flight response that we all have built into our psychometry here. <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious, but people buy into that. You know, I, in fact, a whole multi, multi, multi million dollar industry was created with this kind of concept. Bigfoot. Bigfoot is a huge industry. They have television shows about it. They have it. And you know what? Bigfoot was a goof video, just like mine was. Now, I know the guy that made the original Bigfoot costume. His name is Philip Morris. And he became a big Halloween 
company guy. He, he, he supplies all kinds of Halloween stuff. So back in the day, and I'm talking, you know, I don't know, two million years ago, circuses, carnivals, and, and you know, fairs, they all had this exhibit. It was called the Girl to Gorilla Show. And what happened was they had this girl in a cage and, you know, through a special effect thing, it's called the Pepper's Ghost Illusion. If you want to Google all this stuff, feel free to do it. And this girl turns into a gorilla and she shakes the cage and then eventually the cage bursts open and she jumps out and everybody in the sideshow tent goes running out and screaming, which is genius because it gets everybody the hell out of there and then they can do the next show. <laughs> you know, they captured, they got everybody's quarter. The show lasted like five minutes, the whole thing. She scares everybody out of the tent. The whole thing resets. And it, so anyway, this guy, Philip Morris, was making gorilla suits for this show. And then one day, somebody approached him and said, I need a custom gorilla suit. It's got to have bigger shoulders. It's got to have longer arms. I want it to be freaky. I want it to have this, this, and this, and a weirder head. And Philip Moore said, yeah, I can do that. No problem. And he made that custom suit. And the next thing you know, this guy comes out with this Bigfoot footage. And that footage went viral. It went viral on TV. His family, they licensed that footage. And every time you see that original Bigfoot footage, uh, oh, ghosts are coming out of me. You have to pay that family a royalty. Now, the guy that made the original Bigfoot film is dead. And, uh, you know, I, I, this whole Bigfoot thing is a long story. I could go into it ad infinitum. My point here is, if you want to go viral on YouTube, you can make one of these stupid videos, especially because April Fool's is coming up. So if you want to goof, goose up your views and do something like this, you can do it and you can do it under the... I wouldn't just do a bunch of videos like this because it's just going to hurt your YouTube reputation. But if you do it, as a goof, if you do it on April Fool's Day, if you do it, you know, um, in a clever way, you'll get a million views. But from that point on, you're going to have to come with, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, it's not a sustainable thing. You cannot continue to find weird creatures in the, in the bushes every month, you know, or every week or every two, you know, every, uh, you know, other day. You just can't sustain that model. But if you want to do a quick little goof thing, go look at my video. I'll put link to that video down there and maybe a couple of other videos. I did a couple of these. I used to do them on April Fool's Day. And, uh, and then I started doing them not on April Fool's Day to, to fool people even more. But, you know, I just, <laughs> I feel for stupid people to believe that stuff. You know, I used, I had a guy who, after I made that original video, I had a guy tell me, thank goodness you made, you captured that little creature and now I have proof because I used to wake up every morning or at night, I forget. I used to see those creatures. They're little trolls and they would, they would run around my motor home all the time and I would tell people and nobody believed me and now I can show them your video because now there's proof that these creatures exist. I'm going, oh my god this poor guy he needs help he needs help but for one reason or another there are a lot of people that want to believe in Bigfoot and in ghosts and if UFOs and and Bigfoot's ghost flying a UFO and they want that crap they want it start your own show you know you can either be a debunker or you can be a guy you know like that uh that ufo that, that's the other guy that cracks me up the guy with the weird hair 
the UFOs, uh, you know, and they always come to this thing, you know, oh, we found this such and such a thing. Could that mean that UFOs exist? And the leap of logic is so crazy. It's like, you know, if A plus B equals C, therefore A plus B must equal 10 fucking million. Oh, you know, this thing has a button on it. The button, it has a button. And the light blinks. Could that possibly mean that UFOs were here many, many years ago and dropped this technology on us? Oh God, it's amazing. And that shit sells. It sells. All right. I can't stand this anymore. I don't even know why I made this video. I'm going nuts. Okay. Bye, Inara. Share, subscribe, do whatever. I don't care.